that I can say to put in how proud I am of you for helping rebuild this department, for helping rebuild Ben Davis Show Choir coming out of the pandemic. This week on BDTV. Choir is having their last competition, and we will take you behind the scenes. For the first time in a long time, you made Jason feel like a choir director again. You made Jason love Mr. David. Thank you so much. Have a great performance. I love you. We get an update on finals, and we talk about jobs for you this summer. All here on BD TV. This past Monday, Ben Davis hosted the second Unified Game Day. This annual event first happened back in 2019 and now returns, featuring Unified track and field, flag football, bowling, and many others. The event allows for awesome competition in a safe, friendly, inclusive space. Join the inclusion revolution and continue to play Unified. Jeffrey Dreyer, BD TV. Over the past two years, we have dealt with and suffered from COVID-19. Is it still the same compared to how it was? Here's Drew with COVID in review. According to New York Times, COVID-19 has seemed to fade away these past few months, and although it is much less of a threat now, it is still infecting hundreds of thousands of people per day. Here in the United States, the death count of COVID-19 has just reached 1 million people. Now, on January 10th of 2022, there was over 1.4 million new cases recorded. Since then, it has gone down by over 90% to now we just average over 90,000 cases in the United States per day. And with the U.S. doing everything it can to contain COVID-19, we need to continue to wash our hands and stay safe from this virus. Drew Schreier, BD TV. <laughs> Last Thursday, we had our final choir concert of the year, and we thank all of the people in attendance that night. But what you saw on stage was only a portion of the night for our performers. Let's see what one of our seniors has to say about his final Ben Davis backstage experience. I feel like everyone was just like trying to get what they needed to get done, and like we were all trying so fast to like get ready and change for our next number, because it, it was the type of concert was back to back. So it's like one choir went, then the other one went, and then the next choir, like it was very back to back. So like we didn't have much time to change. It was very stressful in the backstage. I don't think I got a less of experience. I mean, sophomore year was really, really fun. You know, that was my first competition season and like my first year of choir, really. So that was so much fun and I got so many memories out of that. And then junior year, you know, we still got to do stuff. We still got to do everything virtual. So I was, I didn't feel like I was robbed. You know, I definitely missed out on this, you know, competition season. So that kind of sucked. But honestly, being back now where we're somewhat back to normal, I'm more than grateful that we got a competition season and we got a somewhat normal choir year. So I don't think I missed out because honestly this year fulfilled everything. I'm just so excited to um, perform again for the last time and I'm so nervous. You know, it's like doing my first festival all over. <sighs> Show choir for four years. With choir hopefully returning to some sense of normalcy next year, we hope you can all come back to support our Ben Davis Choir performers. Luke Smith, BD TV. Hey, Tawara, what are you doing? You know, I'm just preparing for finals, but I kind of need help, though. You know you can always go to study tables after school, right? Chloe, wait! Starting today through Thursday, May 26th, we will offer after-school tutoring for students from 3.30 to 5 p.m. We will have late buses that will leave the high school at 5 p.m. If you stay after school, you must be with a teacher, coach, or supervisor. Here is a friendly reminder. Finals will begin Tuesday, May 31st during periods 2 through 10. There will be no impact. Wednesday, June 1st, finals will be taken during periods 1, 4 through 6, 9, and 11. There will be no impact or period 10. Finals are coming up in two weeks. If you want to prepare for finals, after school tutoring is the place to go. Zariah Taylor, BD TV. 
Are you looking for a summer job that pays well and good experience for teenagers? Indy Park is looking for positions for this summer. The jobs are lifeguard at $15, pool manager at $16, head lifeguard at $15, camp counselor at $12, cashier at $13, facility attendant at $10, and more. If you are interested, you can apply at www.nd.gov slash opportunity. Corbin Harris, BD TV. This week in sports, our Lady Giants track and field team placed second in the sectionals tournament Tuesday night. They advanced in nine events to regionals next week. Nyla Jones returning from an injury and Ariana Smith advanced in the 100 meter dash. Kasira Simmons advances in the 200 meter and 400 meter dash. Alana Hogan advances in the 100 meter hurdles. Mariah Fields advances in the long jump. Mariah Scott advances in the 300 meter hurdles. And all three relays, 4x1, 4x4, and 4x8 advance as well. And congratulations to the Lady Giants who had callbacks and are able to compete in the regionals. Next week, all of these ladies will compete here at Ben Davis for the regionals title. Good luck to our girls track team. Softball had their senior night Monday night where they went against Speedway. They had a great game winning 10 to 6 beating the Speedway Sparks Bloods. Leah Willigy had the first pitch of the night coming back from an ACL injury. Tuesday, they had a tough game against LN losing 18 to 3. They played Hamilton Southeastern Thursday night and began their sectionals tournament Monday against the Pike Red Devils. Our boys track and field team hosted sectionals Thursday night. Congratulations to all the ones who advanced to regionals. Our boys baseball team had a tough week losing against Brownsburg Monday night and Lawrence North Tuesday night. They play against Lawrence North tonight at 5.30. Come out and support your boys baseball team. It's been a busy week for all of our spring sports. Good luck to everyone competing in regionals and sectionals next week. Taryn Coles, BD TV. I don't. I wish I did. Why would you do that? I just wanted the last word. But not in this newscast. Go <laughs> well, well, <good. laughs> Ten seconds to name five Christmas songs. Bet. Let it snow. Jingle Bell Rocks. Ah, man. Mary. Ah, man. I'm talking about Mary Had a Little Lamb. Ah, man. I, didn't. I lost. It's good. Cool. Right. Yes! <laughs> As we approach the end of the school year, we got something special for you guys. Be sure to tune in to the last day of school for our senior newscast behind the scenes of BTV. <laughs> That's all for this week's newscast. I'm David Lusk, and remember, Giants, if it's about you and me, it's on BDTV.